Electricity and lighting is taken for granted by most people in the developed world. However, millions of people in the developing world rely every day on inefficient fuels such as kerosene that can be dangerous and pose serious long-term health problems. In response to this, Sun Labob Renewable Energy designed a solar rechargeable battery lantern which provides a safe, competitive electrical lighting alternative to the conventional use of kerosene. The use of this lantern reduces greenhouse gases and offsets fossil fuels and allows Sun Labob to provide a service-oriented solution for rural electrification. For the last decade, Sun Labob has been dedicated to helping achieve the UN Millennium Development Goals, working towards ensuring environmental sustainability, building global South-South partnerships, ending poverty and obtaining gender equality through its many initiatives and business activities. One commercially viable energy solution that has seen great success and recognition is Sun Labob's unique solar lantern rental system. As the name suggests, the rental system is based on Sun Labob's award-winning rechargeable battery lanterns and an innovative public-private partnership operational model, which draws on commitment from all sides to achieve a sustainable outcome. The SLRS fosters entrepreneurship at village level, training local technicians who grow in skills and knowledge becoming fully self-supported business operators. This model usually involves having Sun Labob, a private investor, a public donor, a village energy committee and a village entrepreneur working together. In Lao PDR, Sun Labob engages private investors who make loans into an investment fund, which Sun Labob then uses to manufacture and assemble the solar recharging station, solar panels and solar charging unit. Sun Labob obtains support from a public donor who makes a grant available to set up a revolving fund. This fund enables the Village Energy Committee to manage the on-site operational aspects of the system and acquire the first set of lanterns that will be rented out by the village entrepreneur. In every village where San Labob operates, like Ban Ponlek in Kamuan province, a Village Energy Committee or VEC is formed. The VEC acts as a village level governing body for collective matters and decisions. The VEC regulates the village entrepreneur, manages the lantern maintenance fund and manages the lanterns on behalf of the entire village. A percentage of the charging fee goes towards the lantern maintenance fund, which is used for the maintenance and replacement of lanterns. A village entrepreneur, or VE, is hired by the VEC to be responsible for the regular maintenance and servicing of the system. The VE operates a business by renting the charging components from Sun Labob and collects a charging fee from the customers for charging the lanterns. The VE is trained by Sunlabob to operate and maintain the components of the system and also to keep records of the usage. Because the VE operates the charging station as a business, the more lanterns he or she charges, the more money he or she makes. Private investment contributes to the charging stations that are rented to the village businesses and publicly launched revolving funds provide the first batch of lanterns to start up these businesses. After the initial investment from the public sector, the new village enterprise is expected to generate sufficient income from the collection of charging fees, as well as expand and continue their operations through the revolving fund without any further public investment, thereby ensuring sustainability of the project. The SLRS model is flexible and therefore has been adapted appropriately to best serve the needs of each country. In Uganda, for example, although a village energy committee is set up, it is only responsible for communication with the end users and does not oversee a revolving maintenance fund. Maintenance and replacement costs are borne by the village entrepreneurs who receive a higher remuneration and recharging fees for their work in reflection of higher kerosene prices. In Afghanistan, all the equipment has been purchased by the United States Agency for International Development who are also in charge of organising the delivery in a way that fits local practices. If, if, if it had not been charged, it would have, it would have been so many to charge. In Afghanistan, San Labob will continue working and training communities in need. In Uganda, success has been achieved quickly with San Labob's lanterns proving to be a sure method of lighting up Africa. Back in the Lao PDR, San Labob is actively working to help the government achieve their ambitious goal of connecting 90% of the country to the power grid by 2020. With San Labob setting the trend and breaking new ground in renewable energy, communities in the developing world can look forward to a greener, brighter future.